Donald hits Obama with a new nickname, even Barack knows it's a perfect fit. Trump slapped his predecessor with a bold nickname, and liberals are not happy. Not one bit. The mainstream media loves to slam President Trump. Frequently, they attack POTUS over supposed failures. But they never seem to show the same concerns in the past. During Obama's time in office, the media let him get away with plenty. They never reported his failures. Yet the liberal media treated him with kid gloves, and in many cases, as with the illegal immigrant children locked in cages, the media blatantly covered up Obama's actions. Today, the left hammer Trump over his decisions. They never stop to consider how Trump's policies are helping Americans in many ways. All they do is distort the facts, particularly on one, hot-button issue. But President Trump is not backing down, defying the media, he pointed out a major failure of Obama's he is making right. And gave Obama a new nickname in the process. From Western Journal President Donald Trump used criticism surrounding his recent meeting with Russia's leader to once again criticize his predecessor's policies. The president once again made the claim that he has been far tougher on Russia than any modern president. In the same interview, Trump shifted his focus to former President Barack Obama by favorably comparing his own response to Russian aggression. Obama didn't do it, he said of his administration's efforts. Obama was a patsy for Russia. A total patsy. For years the White House looked the other way as Russia played games around the world, Obama seemed to kowtow towards Russia. Rarely did he take a stance. The only time it seemed Obama got tough on Russia was after the 2016 election. Democrats crafted the Russian collude story, which forced Obama to make a big deal about kicking Russian diplomats from the United States. Even when he did get tough on Russia. It was nothing more than a political stunt. As for Trump, despite what the left says, Trump is no friend of Russia's. He has imposed new sanctions, he has dealt with the rogue nation quite expertly. The only sin he's committed is to not follow along with the establishment by openly declaring war with Russia. President Trump wants to have a good relationship with a foreign power, but our media, and insider politicians, want war. Somebody should tell them the Cold War ended 30 years ago. Don't you agree?